What's going on guys, World Watch Else back again with another video for you guys now third upload of the day. A quick fact, I've never uploaded three times in a day, but this news right here, I couldn't wait for it until tomorrow. I thought, you know what, I finished work, finished all my deadlines, let's get this video out tonight because it's very, very big news for all Chelsea fans. As always, I give you guys the latest news in and out, usually in the last 12 hours. The second upload, which was about two, three hours ago, was in the last two hours, but this video here is about the news in the last hour. News coming in thick and fast. Tega Silva, Ben Chilwell, Kai Havertz, a new coach coming towards Chelsea as well. So many things happening right now around the club behind the scenes. Journalists are giving us information left, right, centre. Fabrizio Romano, Nazar, uh, David Onsen, everyone's on it basically. So guys, you don't know how it goes. Smash that like button. Let's get at least 700 likes on this video. Third time uploading, come on. Show some love. Subscribe if you're new here. Hit the notification. Tune in daily. And comment down below your thoughts and opinions on each topic I speak about. I'm about 400 away from 15,000 subscribers. Help me get there, I'm giving you guys daily content, sometimes double, now triple uploads for you beautiful people. I've seen your Fantasy Football League uh, comments as well. We're we'll making that league very soon, probably make my team tomorrow. I'm going to get a league out there, league codes. And then some people say give a prize to the winner. Some people saying give prizes to the top three. Maybe top three or just top man. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, I'm open to anything. So let's get straight into it. Fabrizio Romano has just tweeted in the last hour or two. Chelsea updates. Ben Chilwell deal to be completed on the next days. He's always been the main target as left back. Last details, then here we go. You know, his famous term, here we go. I've been waiting for that for a very, very long time. Since the Werner one, we've been waiting to see Kai Havertz and Ben Chilwell, of course. Um, Tego Silva talks uh, still go on. Final answer on next week. So we're not going to get an answer anytime soon. We have to wait until Monday, Tuesday, maybe midweek. We're going to keep you guys up to date on every single topic on that one. Kai Vets, Chelsea are dealing with Bayer Leverkusen every single day and now they're preparing for a new bid. So it looks like Ben Chilwell's deal could be done before Kai Havertz, which is very surprising because of course Kai Havertz got about seven days left, six days left to get this deal sorted. So Ben Chilwell could be a Chelsea player before you know Kai Havertz. And we did say if the medical was true at Greece, I don't know if it adds up, maybe it doesn't, but you know, the deal's very close to being done. For Vets Romano has basically said it's coming very soon. Also, David Onstein come out and said Chelsea are close to green, um, close to agreement with Leicester to sign England left back Ben Chill. Deal almost done. Forty-five to fifty million pounds. I told you guys, if it's forty-five to fifty million pounds, sign the player. Twenty-three years old, future left back for Chelsea for many, many years. Him and Reese James running down the flank. I'm telling you guys now, the future for Chelsea fans is looking bright. I'm going to keep saying that in many of my videos because the future is. Looking very good for all of us right now. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if we challenged for the title. I'm not going to get too ahead of myself. But right now, the signings that we're making, Roman, Marina, Lampard, Czech, they're not playing right now. They are not playing. I'm looking forward to next season a lot. Um, Chelsea's offered PSG's Thiago Silva. Uh, also interested in Brighton's Ben, uh, ben White. I don't know why I said Ben... Ch I was going to say Ben Chilwell again, but Ben White. But Leeds want him more aggressively. Doubts over the status of all of Christensen, Rudiger, Tomori and Zuma, yet no decision made ahead of the uh, pivotal pre-season according to Nazar. He's also come out and said Havertz is progressing well after meeting on Wednesday with Chilwell is the priority ahead of the centre-back with uh, two with confidence there as well from Chelsea. So Nazar from goal has basically confirmed as well that PSG's offer, well Thiago Silva to Chelsea, advanced talks is very true in the last couple of hours that we've been reporting on. But in terms of our own defence right now, Kurt Zuma, Christensen, Tomori, we don't know what's going to be happening with these players. As we know, we want Rudiger, we want Christensen to either be sold or to just be a squad player not featuring the first 11, if we're being realistic. Kurt Zuma must stay, Tomori could be loaned out. That's what's being said right now. Some people are saying that it could be sold, and I don't understand why you'd sell a young star that has potential to become very good in this team. Like... There are players out there that need to be leaving as soon as possible before him. This guy's young. He's got many years in front of him. Why do we need to sell him? So I don't really understand some of the Chelsea fans. I'm not saying all of you guys, but there's a very few of you guys that have been saying that. So, as I said, and in my last video, someone got offended about when I said William's been average. He has been average, man. Like, he's a fantastic footballer. His work rate is amazing. Defensively amazing. Uh, won us many trophies. Saved us from relegation. I admire all of that. But in terms of his goals and assists, he has never been there. You know, this season he's, he might have been in double figures simply because he scored penalties. 
we have to be realistic with our you know analysis like he's a very good player i understand why managers love his work rate because he tracks back he's, i'm not saying he's a bad player i'm just saying from what i've seen for seven years i expected a bit more goals than just free kicks and penalties but that's just me you know when i'm looking at hazard or even Mata, when Mata was here i'm not obviously they're not in the same position but Mata was creative he was assisting and scoring in, in a small time period so that's what i'm trying to say like these players that come in do a very good job William maybe my expectations are too high for you but I understand your overall performance is good enough for Chelsea in terms of you know winning us games and stuff like that but I think in the final third it just wasn't there but maybe I'm just being a bit too harsh let me in the comments below what you think about William and be realistic with your um, debate don't abuse the guy he's gone of course but I really really wanted to point it out because of someone's comment in the last video I keep eyes on all your comments man trust me i try and respond to it as many as i can the channel's growing every single day so big up all of you lot anyway and big up the fan that was debating with me about william anyway um what else we got here we got coach who moved shock anthony barry from wigan is going to work with frank lampard with the first team now i'm not gonna lie to you i didn't expect that that was a very very surprising one but it looks like chelsea are working many many deals behind the scenes not just with players but with coaches as well when Chelsea go quiet, when the news goes quiet, there's a lot of action happening, okay? The pre-season starts very soon. Chelsea want to get out there. We need to start beginning uh, thinking about the new season, who's going to be starting at level. I don't think Frank Lampard can be swapping players in and out during the season because I think the window ends in October. So we need to try to get as many deals as possible done before this October. You know, I think we start around the 14th of September. We need to get that sorted, okay? We need to start in 11 straight away. Kai Havertz should be a Chelsea player, 100%. Okay, he will be a Chelsea player. I don't know why I'm even considering questioning it. He will be a Chelsea player. We just need to get a fee sorted. That's all it is. So the front four is sorted. Pulisic, Kai Havertz, Timo Werner, Hakim Ziyech, sorted. The back line though, we've got Ben Chiu, we've got Reese James, we've got Asby sorted. But Zuma has to be confirmed. Tomori might be a squad player, might be loaned out. Thiago Silva coming in. What does that mean? Lewis Stunk? No, he signed a new deal with Brighton today, according to reports. Five-year deal. So it looks like his agent used Chelsea as a way to get a contract. Now, Lewis Stunk is a Chelsea fan. I think he names uh, his dog by the name of Drogba, you know, a legend, of course. So I'm a bit surprised that he didn't push for a move out of Chelsea, but that target is officially gone. Take that off now, which is why Thiago Silva's uh, move to Chelsea makes a lot more sense for the short term. And as I said, Upa Mercano in the future for Chelsea to sign for about 41, 42 million because of his release clause in his contract makes total sense as well. So that's where I'm coming from in terms of defence. So Ben Chirwell, Reese James, Azpi, hopefully Zuba, hopefully Tomori. I'm not sure about Christensen and Rudiger. These two players might need to go get those funds in and get Declan Rice and maybe a Thiago Silva in to help out defence. Goalkeeper situation, you know, we're talking about Nick Pope or Nana. We look at a new goalkeeper from Rennes today. We're getting different reports. I don't know if it's going to be sorted. Petr Cech wants Frank Lampard to be sorting it out with Kepa, giving him another chance. Whether, I don't know why my nose is very itchy. I don't know why. It's really annoying me. Every time I start filming, something happens like that. But when I'm off film, I'm all right, man. I don't know if it's just pressure or what. I don't get pressure. I'm delivering this news to you straight up. One take always for you beautiful people. So, And also, I know you guys talk about this background and stuff. Trust me, I'm going to be sorting out a few things, man. Like, you see this here? Stuff like that, like, I need to get a proper layout for all this stuff and light it up. And so I got this like two or three weeks ago, but I've never put it up yet. I need to get a few Chelsea posters and stuff as well, which I'll be getting as well, man. But just stay with me, man, because some of you guys have been commenting on it, but I acknowledge it. Believe me, we'll get it out there soon. So, guys, very, very positive news for Chelsea fans. It's going to get very, very good for us. You know, life as a Chelsea fan is going to get exciting. I've probably said about four times in this video, but I need to keep reminding you guys, man. But, guys, Three videos in one day, it's actually crazy. I don't know how I've done it. I had a long day at work as well, but you know what? I might take a break tomorrow, hopefully. Unless there's big news that comes out tomorrow, I'll probably have to post during the afternoon or at night. Um, I'll be unavailable between about 3 p.m. to about 8, 9 p.m. So if anything comes out, it has to be before or after that. So guys, make sure you tune in every single day on this channel. Free videos, big up, support this channel by liking this video, subscribe if you're new here, hit the notification, tune in daily, and comment down below your thoughts and opinions on each topic i speak i salute all of you thank you for all your feedback and i hope to see you guys soon again man but yeah as always well watch us guys i'm up
Peace. Take care.